Hi everyone, Annette Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use your paper scraps to make a junk journal. So every now and again I take all my scraps, all my leftovers and make an art journal or a junk journal. So I have here, this is a part of a banner, it's from Light Cardstock and I want to cover the other side because obviously a junk journal has pages that are visible on both sides so I need to cover the other side because it's not covered so I simply take scrap papers and cover the other side of the chipboard and cut around the paper as I need I always wait until it's dry and then I simply go around with my craft knife and cut around it. This way I make sure that all my different parts that I want to use inside my junk journal fit together and I don't have any uncovered parts or parts that don't look nice enough to be included inside the junk journal. So I'm just using a ruler and a craft knife to cut around the chipboard and now I have them covered. This is a front of a paper packet that I had. It's kind of a plastic, it's transparent so I thought it look, would look really good as a page inside the junk journal. So. I want to cover this um, part where it says the name of the company and I only want the transparent part so I simply take a piece of paper and glue it on top of the plastic. So I'm just showing you how you can use different parts of even packages and backsides of paper packs and other things that you can use to make a junk journal and then really maximize your supplies and use all your leftovers and scraps. So this one is not going all the way on the other side so I'll have to add another piece of paper. Very simple. And the point is to use as many paper scraps as possible so this is another way to use paper scraps. Once that's all dry, I simply cut around with scissors and then the page is ready. So I have here little small tags and other items that I'm going to use. And these two papers only have a pattern on one side, but they have the same shape. So what I'm going to do is attach them back to back and make a page. So I won't have any white blank pages in my junk journal. So this is another way to use paper scraps or items that you don't need. Simply attach two together and then you'll have a double sided page that you can use. Just cut the excess off and then the page is ready. Just make sure it's glued properly. So this way I go over all my paper scraps and make sure they can all fit inside my junk journal for example this one has a hole so I just cut the top so it won't be with the that hole these two are the same so I'm going to attach them back to back like I did with the other two so this is a really cool way to just use everything that you have in your stash and make something new I want to get rid of all the little holes on the side and there is a page. So this way just go over everything that you have and make sure that they can fit inside the junk journal. If you need to cut out parts or attach two pages together or even fold if I don't have another page like this, I simply fold the one that I have and I'll have a little pocket or a little page this one is going to be a pocket. 
so you can come up with ways to use your scraps. This one is also only double-sided, so I'm going to fold it in half and then make a page because I don't have another piece to glue it back to back. So this way, this won't go to waste. The last part is to bind all these pages together. I'm going to use a bind it all, but if you don't have a bind it all, then you can use rings or you can stitch it together or you can use any other binding machine that you have. I first arrange all the papers according to the order that I want. And of course, you also have to make sure that the pages are basically the same width and length, at least the bigger ones. You can insert smaller ones in between, but you need to decide a size. And I'm making it six by six, so there aren't any papers that are larger than six by six. This way I can make sure that everything looks really organized. So this is my junk journal. Isn't that cool? With all the different shapes and sizes of papers. Really fun to work in, to write in, and to have fun with everything that is inside. And then you can embellish the front with some stickers, some letters. I'm going to make this a quote book, so I'm going to write quotes inside. So I'll have inspiration and ideas that I can later refer to for other projects, but this can be used for any type of activity that you want. It can be a notebook, it can be an art book, it can be an inspiration book, it can be an, a quote book, it can be just for sketching, or it can even be a present for someone for them to to use it as whatever they want. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects. So I want to thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.